The more tutorials I create and post, the harder it is to come up with ideas for future videos. One solution that I go to is looking at the hashtag motion graphics on Instagram where you can find plenty of cool ideas and amazing work from other people. And this tutorial is inspired by one of those works where we're gonna create some crazy typography right here in After Effects and it's really stylistic and awesome. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. So you see what we're creating. This is a cool effect to help you test out your skills and learn a handful of techniques so you can create your own unique pieces of work similar to this one. So let's jump into our tutorial. Let's create this really cool text effect and we'll get started. All right, here we are in After Effects. We're gonna create this text effect. All right, so we got our tutorial composition. I already have a title in here, but to go ahead and type out your title. And what we wanna do is kind of create a nice little palette here. So what I did was I came here to the character window and I activated the stroke and I just added a black stroke here and you can change your stroke width to maybe eight. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna type out your title first. And we'll go ahead and create the animation real fast. So what we'll do is take our title layer, open that up, go to animate and just add a rotation to this. And what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe rotation and we'll set this to maybe like negative 35. And then we'll move forward by two seconds here exactly and set this to 35 degrees. And what we'll do here is grab both our keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make it an easy, easy keyframe, go to the graph editor and we'll just select these points here and we'll just kind of drag these uh, handles all the way across like this. It'll make a very smooth animation. And then what we're gonna do is alt click the stopwatch and type in a loop out with a capital O, open parenthesis, uh, quotations, there's ping pong, go ahead and type that out. So your expression should look exactly like this. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have this nice looping animation on our title uh, forever and you can easily change out your title so you have a nice little placeholder here And one thing we need to take a note at this two second animation is that the composition needs to be exactly 14 seconds in length So what you do is go to composition composition settings and just make sure that this is 14 seconds exactly in length and click OK So now what we're gonna do is take our title layer go to layer pre-compose and you can call it placeholder and We'll click OK. So now what we get to do is take our title layer toggle switch the modes and turn this into a 3d layer and Then we'll go to edit duplicate and we'll just color code this real quick and we'll right click our layer that we just duplicated go to time and click on time reverse layer all right then what we're gonna do is hit pr on keyboard for position and grab the z position here and set it to 25. so now it'll be pushed backwards so now what we'll do is we'll take these both these placeholder layers we'll duplicate them bring them up in our timeline we'll hit pr on keyboard for position and we'll set the bottom one here to 50 for the z position all right just like that and then once again we'll take everything we've done here duplicate them bring them up and as you can imagine we're gonna go in intervals of 25 so now the bottom layer that we just duplicated should be at 100 so as you can see 100 125 150 175 and we're gonna create a handful of duplicates on this but before we do that we'll go to layer new camera and we'll grab the camera tool here at the top we'll grab the orbit camera tool hold down shift on our keyboard and we'll kind of just rotate this towards us so now we're gonna get this three-dimensional look of our title so now we have the ability to easily take all of our placeholders, duplicate them and bring them up and just move them forward or back in uh, Z space. All right, so you can go ahead and repeat that process until it fills the entire composition. I created a total of 98 placeholder layers here, so that's up to you. All right, now in third quality, we're gonna have this animation if our title's gonna go back and forth and it looks really cool and unique, but I wanna add just a little bit more detail to this so it's just not two tone you know, color palette here. So what we're gonna do here is grab all of our layers, including the camera, except for the background. And I'm gonna pre-compose this and call it titles. So we'll go ahead and add some quick creative elements to help this out a little bit more. All right, so first of all, let's go to layer, new adjustment layer. And of course, go to effect, noise and grain, and just add noise. I always add noise so that it's 12%, uncheck use color noise. Go ahead and create another adjustment layer. And this time go to effect, simulation, and grab CC rainfall. And let's come here to the color and let's set this to black. Click OK. Go to the transfer mode and set it to composite. So now you can see everything here. We'll come here to the drops. We'll set this up to 1000. Come here to the size and we'll set this to 2. Come here to the scene depth and we'll set this up to like 16,000. Come here to the speed and we'll set this to 430 ish. Go to, come here to the wind. We'll set this to like 130. Variation 100%. The spread, you know, we'll do 25. And we'll come here to the opacity and set it to 100%. And we'll come here to the background reflection, set the influence up to 0% or down to 0%. And boom, now you're gonna have some nice particles in the scene that are gonna be flying around and it looks really nice. 
So this is how you can add a little bit more detail. And if you want to be able to add like a grid here to the floor, go ahead and check out my tutorial link in the description. I'll show you how to do this, or you can just download our project files to have it. So once all said and done, you'll have this really cool title that will loop back and forth here. And of course, because we have to pay the bills, I want to give a huge shout out to our 100 title pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our After Effects extension with our 100 title pack in here. And simply this extension allows us to import templates into any After Effects project we're working on. And we can apply, a, say, a title template that we want that is perfectly designed and we click on apply and we import a full title animation template that we can adjust right here in our composition we go into that comp and easily change out our titles and we build our templates to allow you to easily adjust our titles so for example if you want to adjust the size of the graphics here you can just come here to our control panel and boom you bring that down and we can of course move other elements as well and now the graphic has been resized if we don't need a specific title we can go ahead and turn that off and what's great about our 100 title pack is that it doesn't change the animation whatsoever. All the animations stay exactly the same. And of course, you can easily change your colors however you see fit. And everything will update in our main composition. We have a handful of other packs as well that we can switch over to and apply elements from. You can, of course, download our freebie pack and you can get 42 free elements for absolutely free. That will be linked below. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time and produce awesome work on your After Effects and Premiere Pro projects, you can take a look at any of our templates off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So that's our tutorial on this crazy typography work. If you find any cool ideas browsing through Instagram or wherever social media, please send it to me. You can message me on Instagram, SunDuckFilm. I will take a look at that and see about posting a tutorial on it. I'm always looking for ideas. But of course, if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always be creating.